when you study the Bible, you find God has spoken so much about how to avoid stress, how to get rid of stress. People get stressed out for everything, some for some things. Because a normal mind will have stress. If you have a normal mind, a thinking mind or a working mind, it will have stress. Stress is the result of fall. There are some things you can solve with a solution, but there are some stresses that become disease and you need God's healing. God wants stress in our lives to be removed because Jesus did not create us to live with stress. He created us to live in rest. Everybody here is on a journey, not just on the journey of time, but also on the journey of a spiritual movement. Because when you move spiritually, everything moves with it. Stress because of worry. Stress because of possibility. And finally, stress because of losing. Tension, anxiety, suppressed thinking, negativity, depression, oppression is because of worry. Worry about job, worry about finance, worry about reputation, worry about travel, worry about food, worry about sleep. Move from worry into worship. Stop looking at your challenges and start looking at the strength of your shepherd. When you move from your focus on the issues of life into the one who called you, you take your eyes off your situation and put your eyes on your shepherd, then you move from worry into worship. Instead of talking about how big your problem is, you start thanking him because of how great he is. And you start saying, Lord, thank you. You are my shepherd and he handles your worry. So God wants us to move from worry to worship. That's why Psalm 23 verse 1, what does it say? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Because he provides for me, there's no want, there's no greed, because he takes care of my need. I'm living a happy life, I'm living a joyous life. Why? Because I'm looking at my Savior. As long as I see my Savior, nothing to that. Hallelujah. So, it's important for us to get out of worry into worship. Every time worry comes, begin to worship. That's why the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15, For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall you be saved, in quietness and in confidence, shall be strength and if you come to me let's all say this together come to Jesus it's not enough to come to church you got to come to Jesus come to Jesus take time with Jesus worship Jesus talk to Jesus shed a few tears with Jesus rest comes from trust you can rest only when there is trust if you want to rest in Jesus you have to first trust in Jesus Without trust, there is no rest. A farmer goes to sow his seed and then he goes to sleep. Why? Because he trusts that the God who created the seed has created it right. It will germinate, it will produce leaves and it will become a harvest. Many God's children, after you've done what you've done, go to sleep because the God who watches over you he will make sure that your labor will bring forth the fruit it should bring. Hallelujah. Don't be caught up and vexed up and give up and what not. Don't do that. Be calm because God is in charge of your life. Don't be in a hurry. Be at rest. Be with Jesus. Don't qualify your enemy unnecessarily by responding carelessly. Did you get that? Pastor, they spoke about me. Ignore them. What will happen? Nothing. Once a week, take a break. Take rest. You don't have to overwork. Do what you have to do and leave the results to God. If the word of God lives with you, my brother, you will walk in abundance.